today on Straight Talk Africa, the World Cup, breaking records, making history, and for Africa, a rich return. But did issues of pay and mismanagement distract them from their performance? That's coming up next right here on Straight Talk Africa. Hello, welcome to Straight Talk Africa. It's Wednesday, July 9th, 2014. I am Shaka Sali. And hello to you, Shaka. And hello, Mariama. And hello to all our viewers and listeners on the continent and elsewhere. I'm Mariama Diallo, your social media reporter. Before we begin today's program, we'd also like to extend our welcome to a new affiliate. Tero 10 TV is a private television station that is based in the Rwandan capital, Chigali. You're most welcome to the Straight Talk Africa family. And today is a big day for football, as the last two teams, in less than two hours, will battle in the last of the semi-finals of the World Cup in the Brazilian city of Sao Paulo. And given the game we witnessed yesterday between Brazil and Germany, there is a lot at stake at today's game. Well, coming up later in our STA inbox, our audience have gone nuts and we've been bombarded with predictions of all sorts, nearly 8,000 views and about 1,000 comments on our question of the week. I can't wait to reveal some of them. That's ahead on Straight Talk Africa. Hope you'll stay with us. But first, bonus disputes, strike threats, and even a plane full of cash. Still, Africa turned in a fine performance in Brazil although they didn't make it past the quarterfinals. My colleague Paul Cisco has more on the story and some predictions from Voice of America's Ardent Sports fans. Only three teams from the continent have ever reached the quarterfinal stage of the World Cup. Cameroon in 1990, Senegal in 2002, and Ghana in 2010. So we'll still have to wait for Africa to make it to the Final Four. In Brazil, Nigeria's Super Eagles World Cup exit came after losing to France, 2-0 in the round of 16. It didn't go our way, so we are not happy. So, but we have no choice. That is the spirit in um, football, you understand. One person has to lose, while some, uh, one person has to win. So that's the spirit of the game. Algeria also made it to the round of 16, their dream shattered by Germany 2-1. After knocking out the U.S. in two previous World Cups, Ghana went home in the group stages, losing to Portugal. Cameroon went home without a win in the group stage, losing their last contest to host Brazil 4-1. And it ended for the Ivory Coast when they lost to Greece 2-1 in the group stages. VOA's Lenore Madu. I'm really sorry that the, the Cote d'Ivoire lost, and I really hope now for Argentina. Go Argentina, go Messi. Then there were four, Brazil, Germany, the Netherlands, and Argentina. Germany versus Argentina. And who's going to come up number one? Argentina. The Netherlands, I think, is the best. Look at what they're doing to Brazil. They're like completely, if I knew how to say route in German, I would say route in German, but I don't know how to say it, but I'm hoping Germany wins. Now there are three. Germany, Argentina, and the Netherlands got to favor Argentina because number one, no European team has ever won when the World Cup's been played in the Americas, and they've got the best player in the world, Lionel Messi. Nearly one billion people watched Spain win the 2010 World Cup final in South Africa. FIFA expects the biggest and most watched single sporting event in the world will set new attendance records on Sunday, July 13th. Going with the Dutch, the Dutch, to lift the trophy on July 13th in Rio de Janeiro, like Shaka Sali, from the deepest, better part of the softest part of my heart, I do have a soft spot for the Dutch. Three times, three times they've been runner-up at the World Cup. 74, 78, and four years ago in South Africa. You gotta go with the Dutch to lift the trophy on Sunday. Go! Dutch! We'll see, Sonny. Paul Sisko, VOA News. 